In a third volume of a series of piracy books, a UTRGV professor uncovers 300 years of piracy history, all in efforts to understand piracy in the grounds of archaeology. So the study of piracy gives us great insights into how they act, but it also in turn gives us a reason to understand what makes us different than pirates. Anthropology and history professor Rosos Skoronik released a book called A Dead Man's Chest on September 19. He co-authors the three volumes with archaeology professor Charles R. Ewan. Skoronik defines piracy as a criminal behavior and remarks pirates are not like in popular movies. Skoronik tells us no matter where you're from, if you have something they want, they might attack. And the key questions are where, how, and where they hide after. In the latest issue, he covers piracy beginning in the 17th century to the 19th century, but also talks about modern piracy. But we can document about 3,000 attacks by pirates between 1690 and 1720. And we know, in, or I shouldn't say we know, but we have documents that tell us that at least 400 pirates were hanged as a result of that. But I can also tell you that between 2010 and 2022, there were 3,000 pirate attacks in the world. Just now. Community Historical Archaeology Project with Schools Program Director and Anthropology Lecturer Rosanne Bachagarza says Koronik is an underwater archaeologist and studies Spanish colonial artifacts, like copper pots and ceramics, expertise that is crucial to help uncover the details of a shipwreck in the valley. And so what ties in his research uh, that he's been doing for decades on, um, on this topic uh, has to do with a, in particular, there, there was a shipwreck off of South Padre Island that uh, the state underwater archaeologist from the Texas Historical uh, Commission is working to research. Skoronik says the research team is based scattered in France, Ireland, Brazil, and England, and they study the material culture such as shipwrecks and artifacts. For more information on Deadman's Chest, visit upress.ufl.edu. For KVAQ-TV in Brownsville, Monica Chavez.